basically a rescue group that focuses on the well-being of exotic small primates. There is a big, big, big problem with these little guys because of the thing is that people want them as pets. They go to pet shops, they buy them. It's a problem. There is no legislation as regarding exotic monkeys in Gauteng particularly. You don't have to have permits or licenses to keep them in Gauteng. It's the only problem. We suspect because of the fact there's far too many available. It's very difficult to keep track of them. Their lifespan is extremely short. It is extremely difficult when you do lose a monkey. Even now, even, even after so many monkeys, we have about 60 monkeys here, roughly between 50 and 60 monkeys here. And yes, it is incredibly, incredibly difficult to try to actually get through the little babies that die, they are suffering. We got a monkey in this morning, very collapsed. The prognosis is very grave. Definitely a, a bacterial infection. What kind of bacterial infection we haven't been able to tell just yet. We've had to stabilize the monkey because it couldn't take any medicines or liquids, basically give it uh, injectably. And now it's starting to drink, so that's good. It's, we, we have to force feed it now. So now it's fine, but it's going to be touch and go for the next 24 hours. The pet trade has bombarded us now with this problem and we've now got to sit with it and try to make it as comfortable as possible within our means. I started was going to the Amazon, I came back, people were suddenly just donating me monkeys. I didn't see a need in that. I sort of fell in by mistake and ever since I, that's it, it's my passion. There's no monetorial reward at all, the reward is purely from your heart, it's saving them. Some owners that help, most of them don't. Most of them they come and drop off their monkey and then, then they, they don't give you anything. No donation, no food, no nothing. And you never hear from them again. Donations is difficult. We cannot just ask the government for it because we have in the past, and unfortunately they are focusing on the AIDS project and lots of other projects to do with humans more so than, than animals. So rather like the SPCA, we do rely incredibly, in fact entirely, on the public of sausages, eggs, at least one to two a day. But then we also give them cereal. Every single day they add in sugar and I'll add in lactogen or SMA, any of the baby milks. So we're also in need of baby milk. Go through about six packets of Nestum baby cereal in a day. And any enrichment, whether it be crates, plastic crates, cooler boxes that are broken, we can definitely use that, use that as sleeping boxes. Tunnels, PVC piping tunnels. Baskets, any baskets that people would like to throw away or they got stored in the garage. Or you'd be surprised how much of the stuff that we actually use in the cages to make it much more exciting for them. Cages, obviously, portable cages, small cages in case the monkey's sick. And polar fleece material, that's the only things that we use as far as materials concerned. Vegetables, as in butternut, potatoes, or tomatoes volunteers, students and specifically the community service from the schools. With their projects it's wonderful because they enjoy it, it's different for them, it's exciting, there's never a dull moment, there's always something new happening in the sanctuary. As far as cleaning cages are concerned, painting cages, cutting the grass and enriching, just changing the environment a little bit, creating more hammocks, changing this space, because they also get bored, you know, it's like they're used to kilometers of space. But don't forget they also usually have families of 15 to 20 in a group and then they have these kilometers of space. Um, ondervinding is soos baie anders, dit is anders as SPCA, want elke api wat hier is eindelijk die jom te mal een ander story, soos partij van hulle is net siek wat die so basis net kom om dat die vrouwelike help gezond raak en partij van hulle bly. Dit het my siening oor natuurbewaring eindelijk baie verander ook. trying to get us donations of food, perhaps going to pick and pay or any of the food stores. We don't take in rotten, rotten foods that they're not good enough for the pigs and things, mainly because these little guys are quite pepitive. They can get sick very, very easily. They'll die within one day. 